Praise the Lord, everyone. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. And I want to thank each of you for joining with us for Saturday's Daily Bible Study, coming from Charlene's Outreach Ministries. We have a wonderful but short lesson for today. Believers kept safe. Believers kept safe. Coming from Jude 1, verses 24 to 25. Jude 1, verse 24 to 25. Amen. The last book for Revelation and only two verses. Amen. And we're speaking on our doxology. Amen. So we're going to get ready to move into our lesson. But first, I want to ask if anything is said, touches your heart, soul, or spirit, or you have any questions or comments, please feel free to jot them at the bottom of the screen below, and I will get to them as soon as possible. Also, if you would, subscribe to my channel and join with us as we gather together to study and meditate on the word of the Lord. Amen. You know the Lord, the Spirit tells, the, the scriptures tell us to meditate on the word day and night um, in Psalms 1. So we want to... Uh, uh, keep something fresh and new in our mind to meditate on. And hopefully, as you are going through these lessons, uh, you you uh, listen to these lessons to to pull out things that will help uplift you, you help uh, you to deal with problems or situations in your life. Amen. So, and also use it to uh, to do sit down and do your own personal study. Amen. As we rise early in the morning to to to, to talk to the Lord and, and 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 build up that personal relationship with Him, Amen. So we're gonna get ready to move into our lesson. Um, we're gonna have prayer, then we're gonna move right into our lesson, Amen. Dear God in heaven, we thank you, Father. We thank you for all the many blessings that you bestow upon us. We thank you for making a way out of nowhere. We thank you for leading and guiding us in your true path of righteousness. Lord, you are our light and our shining armor, and whom shall we fear in the mighty name of Jesus? Lord, we give you honor, glory, and praise. We thank you, Father, that you are our Jehovah Jireh. We thank you, Father, that you are our all in all. We thank you, Father, for making a way out of nowhere. We thank you, Father, for being with us, taking care of us, strengthen us, building us up where we weak, Father, uh, in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, we give you glory, honor, and praise, Father, in Jesus' name. Lord, we ask as we go into your word, Father, that you would open my eyes that we see, our ears that we hear, and give us wisdom, knowledge, and understanding from on high. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. All righty. Uh, believers kept safe. Jude 1, Verses 24 and 25, uh, the doxology and scripture lesson text read, Now to him who is able to keep you from stumbling and to present you faultless before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy to God our Savior, who alone is wise, be glory and majesty, dominion, and power, both now and forever. Amen. Those few words were very powerful. As we look at Jude, as Jude closes with a beautiful benediction, uh, uh, it is a scription of praise and worship to, who, to him who is able. He is able to do what? He is able to save, Hebrews 7 and 25. Able to establish, Romans 16 and 25. Able to abide, Hebrews 2 and 18. Able to subdue, Philippians 3 and 21. And here, he is able to keep. He is able to keep us in perfect peace. Isaiah 26 and 3. He is able to keep that which we have committed to him until the day, to that day, 2 Timothy 1 and 12. He is able to do exceedingly, abundantly, above all that we can ask or think, Ephesians 3 and 20. And he is able to keep us from stumbling. This latter promise is especially time timely for the days of apostasy in which Jude is referring and in our day because we it is so easy for us to stumble in things that we because we don't live in the 
Old Testament times are living in New Testament times. We are in this 21st century time period. We believe that we we we, we are, are far from what they dealt with, and so we got our own. We do have our own issues issues and situations. But the same, the things that we have. If we are not mindful, we can put them in God's place and make the, a God out of them. And, 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 and it goes downhill from there. That is the beginning of us falling. It said, but the promise doesn't stop there. He is able to make us stand faultless in the presence of his glory with exceeding joy. This is truly stupendous when we think of what we were dead through our trespasses and sin. When we think of what we are, poor, weak, failing servants, and then to think that one day we will stand absolutely faultless in the throne room of the universe, rejoicing with exceeding joy. What grace is this? He is not only our keeper and perfecter, he is God our Savior. It is a marvel that God should be so interested in us that he would also become our Savior. In the sense that he devised the plan whereby we are saved. And he provided his sinless son as the sacrificial lamb who alone is wise. Ultimately, all wisdom comes from God. James 1 and 5. Our wisdom is merely derived from the fount, the fountain of wisdom, the only wise God. If worship, in old English, the worth-ship, worth-ship, Worship is worship in Old English, means ascribing to God what he is worthy of, what he is worthy of. It will be glory and majesty, dominion and power, glory, the superlative honor he deserves for all he is and all he has done for us. Majesty, the dignity and splendor he deserves as the supreme monarch of the universe. Dominion, the unchallenged sway, which is his by sovereign right, and power, authority, the might, and prerogative to rule all that his hands have made. He was worthy of such praise in the past. He is worthy at the present time, and he will be worthy of it throughout eternity. Apostates and false teachers may seek to rob him of glory, detract from his majesty, grumble against his dominion, and challenge his power. But all true believers find their greatest fulfillment and glorify and enjoy him both now and forever. Amen. We know that this is what it takes to continue our walk in him. It's to glorify him continually that we may stay in line, may continue to go forward, to, to, to hold on until the day comes. Amen. This is a great and powerful lesson. I pray you meditate on this lesson. Also, I would like to remind you, uh, if you would subscribe to my channel and join with us as we gather together to study the word. Also, we are decreasing the number of uh, lessons we will have according to the related scriptures. Amen. Uh, starting December the 1st. Amen. And please, uh, if you have any questions, comments, uh, please make sure you jot them up at the bottom of the screen below. Or if you would like uh, prayer, let me know and I will add your name to the prayer list. Amen. God bless you and have a wonderful and blessed day. Thank you.